Hi everyone, my name is Maya. I'm a threat intelligence analyst here at Kela. Following the WannaCry attack, we wanted to create this short video in order to give a clear explanation to our clients on how to use the radar system in order to detect vulnerabilities related to this and similar attacks. To those of you who are not familiar, the Visual Reconnaissance Module of RADARC is a completely external intelligence-based system which continuously monitors for vulnerabilities in your network without performing any active scans. Okay, so after we open the VR module, I'm going to show you how three of the main vulnerabilities connected with this exploit will look like in your system. I am using my demo dashboard and I will now go into the domain, the subdomain, and the vulnerable technologies that the system is highlighting. Among the technologies, you can see the Windows Server 2003 here, which is one of the technologies affected by the WannaCry attack. This is another example with Windows 8.1. Another thing you can see on your system is the SMB vulnerability on port 445, which is the actual vulnerability exploited by the Shadow Brokers toolset for the WannaCry attack. In this case, the same host also has an open RDP port that is running a Windows server and allowing external actors to get access to the machine. The last thing I wanted to show is the contacts list. Here in the export section of RADARC, you can find a CSV file with all of your company's contacts that were detected in the darknet in various breaches. Since WannaCry will get into a company's network via spear phishing, it is important to keep track of the users that were exposed and may be more vulnerable to these attacks. We will continue to follow this attack closely and issue status updates to our clients. In parallel, we have opened a dedicated intelligence monitor in the RADARC system that is now available to all our clients and it's configured to bring in all darknet information about this attack. Thanks for listening and don't hesitate to contact us for any questions you might have.